Hi and welcome to task five, which uh, you'll be pleased to know is the final task within this Google Slides learning object. Um, sort of giving you a getting started idea to the use of the slides tool within Google. Um, so first of all, we're going to just open up the previous slide uh, if you're not already in there. Uh, and task five is really looking at presenting and sharing within Google Slides. Um, because Google is kind of an online platform, it gives huge potential for real-time collaboration. So you're able to share. So if you're working in groups, you can share the sl sl slide presentation with the other members of your group, and you could all be working and editing the slides at the same time, which is brilliant. You can give permissions to people so you can allow them to edit it with you, or you can allow them to only view it. So if you wanted to get your peers to give you a bit of an idea of what they think of your presentation, you can get them to view and comment on it. Or as I say, if you're working in groups, you can all actually collaborate and work on the slides at the same time, um, which you can't really do across sort of Microsoft PowerPoint, um, where you would save a copy, send it to somebody else, they can make some changes, send it back. You've then got to try and uh, collate the changes and merge the files together. One of the biggest benefits of Google Slides and across all Google applications is its real-time collaboration sharing, which is one of the things we could, I'll show you uh, in a moment. Uh, but we will also get you, as part of the task, to share your kind of example slides you've made with us in Learning Services uh, just to get you to practice the sharing um, feature. Uh, and also we can sort of have a look and comment on any slides if you wanted us to. Uh, and then the other th sort of really big feature <laughs> is the presentation style and how how it, you can actually present and what buttons you need to push to do that. So first of all, we'll look at um, sharing. And in the task, I think on the task screen, it says sharing it with ucselevate at gmail.com, which is our Gmail address for you to share it with. So what I'm going to do with this one on screen now is I'm just going to share that. So a big blue button on the top right. Currently says it's private to only me, which as it would be to you. But if you click share, you get the share screen pop up and you can start to type in other your sort of peers or our Gmail account in there. And on the right here, you can see what they can do, whether you can edit, comment or just view. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in here the UCS Elevate's address. So UCS Elevate at Gmail. Sorry, gmail.com. I'm going to allow that to say uh, can edit, and I'm going to click send, and that's added us. So the top here says shared with one person. And again, if we now click on share, we can see uh, shared with Elevate, which is the enhancing learning through innovative technologies team as part of learning services. If I click on advanced, you can see here that specific people can access it, which is learning services, which is this account I'm using here, and then Elevate UCS can edit and click that. You could, if you wanted to remove someone's access, so this is how powerful and easy it is to use, you could click that cross and that would stop me in future accessing it. So really quick and easy to share. You would invite people, so if you get your peers, your friends to all have Google accounts, type in their Google email addresses there, click done, and that would share it with them. So what should happen, if I just look at my other computer, I can hopefully see that it has been shared. And I'm just going to have a look here. And I can hopefully see where are we? Uh, I'm just going to do a search on it. Yep. So the other user, which could be someone in another room, another building, another county, another country, because it's online, you can share it with anybody. And so the Elevate account that we've just shared it with has now opened that file. And you can see on your screen or on my screen here, we've got their icon. So the Elevate, you, that's basically telling us that the other person is now accessing the same file at the same time as I am. And because it's, it's showing there in pink, so wherever you see pink, so over here on slide one, it's saying that that user, that other person, is on the first slide. And if they now go to slide two, you see the pink moves to slide two, showing you that they're on that slide. Uh, so I'm going to get the Elevate user to add in a new slide. So they've just plussed the new slide. And your screen, you can see here, slide three has just appeared because that's what they're working on. That's what they're doing. And if I go to slide three, so we're now both looking at the same slide. 
and I'm going to get the other user. So the Elevate user is going to type some text in. And in real time, you get to see a big pink box square, sort of oblong, which is showing you that's there. And they're typing on their computer. But you can see it on your computer because it has that very powerful real time collaboration. So if you are working on a group presentation, you can all be different. You can all be at home. You're, uh, you can be on campus, but kind of different buildings. But you can all work together at the same time. Uh, so it's actual real time editing. So a very very powerful tool. Uh, I'm just going to close close that down on the other computer. You can now see the pink icon. The pink elevator has gone. So we know they've left it, and I'm the only one now using it. And if I wanted to, I can just delete. I can remove what they've done. Uh, because I'm, I'm in, it's my presentation, so um, I have that sort of control. Um, so hopefully that shows you how just how powerful the real-time sort of collaborative elements of the Google Apps can be. Um, any number, I've been in documents like this where there's been hundreds of people in, so it's you're not limited to two, three users, but it is up to you to control uh, who has access when and you can remove their access very easily so hopefully you can see really how powerful that is certainly in group work together so in this task for you if you can share that with your presentation with UCS Elevate we'll get a notification to show you've done it which is nice so we know people are actually using the learning objects and we can comment if you wanted us to so the next part of task five was kind of the, the main part of a presentation tool which is the actually presenting so all you really have to do is once you've made your presentation you simply click on the top right here you click present and you can now see uh, once that loads it's now gone black screen it will load that presentation in full screen so when you're presenting with a, a larger screen or a, a projector hit present mode you lose all the menus you lose your extra icons on the left which showing you your different slides and you're now in a proper presentation mode bottom here you can see a number of options you can move left and right through the slides or you can choose a direct slide to jump to or as with other presentation tools you can use the keyboard um, to move so we can move to the lists I can move back um, to Koala if it's just been a little slow um, with the recording of this screen it's just been very slow but you can move left and right again. If you've got a remote control clicker, you can also click uh, left and right to move through those slides. I'm just going to close that down because that's going very slow. I believe due to the fact I'm recording this as a video on the same screen. Um, yep, so that's now closed down completely. Apologies for the sort of crash there in the browser. Um, doing the screen capture recording as I'm here as you can see um, and trying to present at the same time has been a bit too much for this computer so it's got to fallen over but what you when you click the present button top right the screen will go blank and then you'll get full screen presentation slides which you can move through as you would normally presenting. Uh, so thank you very much for your time um, going through this uh, learning object for Google Slides.